right, I think it should be good. Hopefully it is. But how's it going? Hey Zade, how's it going? Can you hear the game and can you hear the mic? But yeah, hopefully this is running directly. But no, Salty? What's up? Prepare to die, Mr. Bond. You first. <laughs> oh, jeez. Let's see if we can actually wrap it up tonight. And, uh, what about us? Oh, James. Jeez. Hi, Ari. How are you? Dude, this game came out in, what, 2003? Let me just make sure. Yep. Yeah. I didn't realize there was a subtitles option, so we're gonna have subtitles on this time. So we're gonna continue from here. Hi, Cinematic. How are you doing? Now I need to remember controls, because it's been a while. But yeah, if you guys are noticing issues with stream, please let me know so we can fix it Double up, okay? Seven. Diablo's invaded Red Square with an army of platinum tanks and is advancing on the Kremlin. The Russian army has been mobilized, but Diavolo's nanotechnology is eating through their tanks faster than they can deploy them. You've got to find a way to stop him. I've been able to get you a new gadget in the field, 007, the Network Tap. This modified dart gun will let you take control of certain electronic devices. Shoot the a device friend of mine all day. Oh yeah? How, how did that go? Did you at least have a good time? Good hunting, and catch 007. up on stuff, Ari? Yes, Salty, this game is older than you. Which means you're just a youngin'. That's good, Cinematic. What are you up to tonight? Same with everybody in chat. What are you guys all up to tonight? First, we take over Russia. Then we unleash our little nanobots on the world. What's the well, happy one? birthday to them, then, Ari. Salty, have you played any James Bond games? Or seen any James Bond movies? Do you mind? More Elden Ring, nice. I still gotta play some Elden Ring. Bond, Diavolo plans to release a toxic gas into the Kremlin. You must beat his forces to Red Square, find the source of the gas, and neutralize it. Let's see, working on the baby blanket. Yes, I know you were talking about that last time. How is progress coming on it? I guess this is a shortcut, right? Complete build, but it's missing a certain talisman. Tank, get out of my way. 26 of 86, so you're making progress. I didn't realize this would be as difficult as I thought it would be, but again, it's been a long time, so...
Okay, I guess I don't shoot the thing. Bond, Diavolo plans to release a toxic gas into the Kremlin. You must beat his forces to Red Square, find the source of the gas, and neutralize it. So you're just watching him cinematic. You're not doing anything else? Red Square, Bond. There might be a shortcut beyond that wall. Try and destroy this. Placing the bomb now, sir. Come on. At 20% for 20 seconds, will blood loss occurs within the vicinity. Okay. Having trouble finding it. Do you know where to find it though, right? See if it's this thing. Well, where are you supposed to find it? And then Ari, you, did you get any more colors for for your blanket? For the blanket you're working on? But still can't find it. There we go. Lindell Capital, okay. Roger, we're in position. It appears Diavolo is planning to use brute force to enter the Kremlin. You must find a way to stop those tanks from breaking through that wall. Drive this thing. Keep firing. That is paste of yellow, green, purple, pink, and white all together. That's a lot of colors. Thanks for the lurk, dude. I appreciate it. Dead? Too slow, 007. 
There must have been another way to stop those tanks. There has to be a faster way. I haven't played it yet, but will later. Apparently, I've heard that there's supposed to be a remake of Last of Us coming this year that Naughty Dog is working on. I wonder if that's actually true, though. start that mission. So they probably can use the nanites on that thing. Bond, Diavolo plans to release a toxic gas into the Kremlin. You Plus also, Ari, you're not on a time square. limit to get Try that thing finished, right? It. Hi Hawk, how's it going? How is Life is Strange 2 Colors? I still need to play that. Only other life streams, but overall I enjoyed it in Game Pass. I liked Before the Storm. Before the Storm is a shorter experience as well, though, compared compared to I think like Life is Strange, but I really liked Before the Storm. been doing okay. It's been a while since I've heard from you. Apologies for not checking in. It does seem like it is smaller scale. Keep firing. Though. 
Oh no, what's wrong? Maybe, maybe destroying this statue with these tanks will do the trick. There we go. Bond, we've traced Diavolo's transmission to a location deep underground. It appears to be directly below the tank storage warehouse. Well, that was pretty satisfying. I know the location. I'm heading there now. Looks like we're gonna go after Diavolos now. Also, what do you think the chances are we finish this tonight? Um, know anything about an underground base in the Kremlin? We're working on it, WC. Yeah. We can, all we can do is try, right, Ari? Bob, those security lasers are deadly. Luckily, I designed your repel cable with a diffraction coating that makes it invisible to lasers. Yeah, but it's not a. Oh, <laughs> that's a funny animation. He just hangs there. Give me your gun. This art commission just has been a ton of emote work and labor that's gone to and it has just ballooned more and more beyond enough of the scope. Oh, you're working on a commission piece? Thank you. Hang on. Hang on a minute. Nice egg, you found it though. But like, like how is it getting out of scale though, Hawk? Like, is it, are they asking for more and more or, or are you just not sure on what to do? Like this, scale it back.
Okay, nothing there. Oh, no. Okay. Oh, no, no, that's something different. Sorry, never mind, never mind, never mind. Jeez. Spent four months on eight emotes, and there's six more, and they barely provide me any direction. Draw, now I'm supposed to do emotes for another character that I don't have any great references for. Oh, oh shit. Sorry. I've only gone through one. Which is a process I've only gone through once. So it's there's been you need a lot of iteration on it. And again, it seems like they haven't been like did they give you any form of direction or just like the most basics is or are you having complete do you have complete creative freedom to do what you want? Cause it almost sounds like It almost sounds like you have freedom to do what you want. It almost seems like through the current character design, every 3D model it's supposed to be based on. What do you think would have to be IE Cat Fox character the hair color? I'm gonna die again. the ones I've already sketched so have you got in touch with them like just to say like have they have they asked for progress updates Okay, well then we won't talk about it anymore. Let's just talk about James Bond, shall we? How I suck at being a secret agent. Because that seems to be the idea right now. I can't be... I can't be an MI6 agent like James Bond. Although, who should be James Bond? Let's talk about that. No, no, no. No, no, you. There we go. I think that should be everyone. You did pick up a rocket launcher. Shit. There we go. 
Oh good, there's armor here, thank you! If there wasn't any armor, I would not be happy about that. And let's just talk about Bond. Oh, son of a bitch. Look who it is. You're trapped, Bond. You can't win. McBond. John McBond is way better. So, should it just be Bond? I should just be McBond then? We add the D to the end of McBond. You think RNG and how are you doing, buddy? There we go, mission complete. But how are you doing though tonight, dude? Oh crap. Again! And he has a flamethrower. Dinner with the kids at least. Still gotta get kiddos to bed. Well, you know I'll be here for a bit. I have to do the home- oh no no, thank god, I don't have to do the home mission again. Let's just get this. Oh, I don't have it anymore, shit. Oh well, that's fine. I was dating one of my really good friends. I told them no, I wasn't. Why would they get that impression? Why would they get that impression, Ari? I, I thought there was a roll button. Damn it! So close.
It kind of sounds like, like a rocket launcher. I will say that. You got it, Zade? Nice. Now you can finally play the game with the build that you're trying to do. Oh, there's... There's an armor there! I just noticed it. After three playthroughs. And up we go. Next time I take the stairs. That would have been a better idea, James. That way enemies can just funnel their way to you, probably. There we go. But got sidetracked with other things. And then you just happen to completely forget about it. Not the escape route I would have taken, but it seems to have done the job. Thank you, Em. What is my exact location? Yeah. I believe you're in the secret Kremlin nuclear command bunker. Well, at least I'll check, I'll check that. ADHD is fun. I don't know. That depends on who you ask. That's what I thought. suspected they had built something like this too in the cold war. Bond moment. Yeah, just do that. Oh. Bond, you need to find a way onto those catwalks to exit this hangar. Is there... There's gotta be somebody. Yep, there is. No, no. Bond. Bad Bond.
No, no, no. A bad McBond. Yes, I know. I am failing as James Bond. I'm trying. Sorry. I needed the armor, though. Where is this dude? Oh, there was one right there. There's one right there. There's a sniper. Oh, I see something I could have done there. And I'm almost dead. That's okay. I know that for next time. Oh, oh. Give me that. Give me that. There we go. Did you? No. You did. There we go. I need to use this again. There we go. Respect my stats because I re respect back to math. To what? back to major last playthrough. Okay, yeah, because which playthrough is this for you? There we go. Let's go this way. New game plus three. Okay. Come on, James. Oh, no. I'm not going to take that because I don't think I need it. Yep, good thing I didn't pick it up yet. But now I'll pick it up just to be safe. Did they make you feel like a Belmont from Castlevania?
I miss using the whips I had. But again, yeah. What kind of whips were they? Mr. Bond. What an unpleasant surprise. Really? You're just in time for the final countdown. Those I... missiles have been deactivated, Diablo. The nuclear warheads were removed years ago. That's quite correct, 007. Except that I replaced them with nanotech payloads, which will do the job just the same. Start the launch sequence. Great. As for you, Mr. Bond, grab him. Throw him into the bottom of a missile silo and let him experience hell on earth. Really? Is that is that what you got for me? Tell me, Father, how does it feel to lose? You're about to find out, Diablo. Oh wait, yeah, that's right, I forgot. I was wondering if I could, but hang on. Why is it not letting me target it? Like, it should let me. Why is it not? So, network tap. Someone target him! He's up there! Okay, so I gotta be like right next to the damn thing then for it. No, Bond, stop it. Seal off those 
large silo exhaust shunts, the flames and the heat will destroy the missiles when they launch. Those control panels should do the trick. I literally have nothing. Okay. And it's gotta be in here. You gotta guess. Hey Chris, how's it going, dude? Haven't seen you in a bit. It has been a hot minute. Oh, hang on. I'm gonna just check something quickly. Something's up with the, my stuff. Okay, there we go. I need to find where it is, though. You're running out of time, 007. There we go. There we go. Oh no, Chris, what the heck have you been up to though? I hope you've been doing alright. Thank you for greeting Amari, I appreciate you.
There we go. That takes care of these. And we have some more ammo. So this shouldn't be too much more of a problem. So we're out of here. All right, Ari, thank you. Of course. Not yet. We're working on it. She doesn't know what she's missing. Hang on. I need an armor. And I don't want to waste rockets yet, so let's just shoot the thing. Now, we shoot. Will you hold that thing still a damn minute? Fine, I'll shoot it. Hang on, there was an armor back here. I just need the... I, could you just hold that damn thing still a minute? Thank you. No, come on. Come on. Stand, will you? Thank you. Oh, jeez. James? Yeah, that's not the end of it. That's not the end of it, though, but that, that was entertaining. You're welcome. Thank you. All right, I guess we're on the last mission now. Give me everything or nothing at this point, right? One of the 
missiles has been reactivated. We believe it is targeted on London. An unknown source has tapped into the network directly from a telemetry tower in the launch area itself. You must get to the launch area and stop that missile. Oh, I think I know who did it. Come on. Uh huh. Oh, sniper rifle. Okay. Yep, that's what I thought. Okay, finally got somebody with it. This is not going to be a fun ride by the looks of it, right? Do I have night vision? Now I can go back and pick this up. Oh, no, 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 no. It's so good it needs to be made more than once, right? 
It needs to be made exactly nine times. Because then I can be 009. Right? Let's get this up. You know what? Screw it. Let's just pick it up. I'd rather be full. Let me just shut that off. I think we should be good without it. Yup. Nothing here. My knee hurts. You didn't hit anything, did you? Let's go back. Oh, nope. Ah, uh, clever. Jeez. Let's go this way. They got a sniper. There we go. We needed to get him. The set cross cross of apple saw. Cross cross what? I've never heard of that. Is that a fray? Is that a new thing? No, that is a bond moment, I would guess.
Crisscross applesauce and auto corrected. Oh, they open that now. Okay, jeez. No, I'm gonna go back. I'm gonna go pick that up. You know, I've had enough of your crap. Where is shotgun? No. Come on. Pop out. Could really use armor, but the game's not gonna give it to me right now. We play smarter. I pressed the fire button, it didn't do anything. This is going to take a bit. It's going to be just long combat sequences.
What guy? Oh, this guy? I need to go back and pick up those armors. I may that armor I may as well. Come on. go. I know there was armor here, but I'm going to wait for that because I know I'll need it later. Ouch. Why are you targeting the other guy? Why is it? Hmm. Okay, never mind. There we go. I just want this game to come out. So has it seen a re it's seen a redesign? Is that a rumor flying around with it?
I guess they decided to maybe ditch the card system then. That's gonna be my theory. On the Reddit I frequent. Where was this information heard from? Like, that person who posted it, did they have a source? Let me get the thermals. From Tom Henderson, so 90% accurate. Okay. Well, hopefully we'll see something at summer's get at Summer Games Fest on that. And I've heard there might be some stuff on the Kotor remake there. That's true. That would be awesome. Let's see. But, you know, I want to see... I'm curious to see what they're going to do with it. I want surprises, though. I want surprise reveals. Yeah, the targeting is just not doing what it should be doing. Why do I keep dying? I can't help you with that. What now? You may be able to bang characters. What? Yeah.
Is Marvel's Midnight Suns thus prompting? Gotcha. No. Okay. Fine. I don't need to watch. I don't need to watch that kind of porn. There's probably better things out there. Well, I guess you won't know until you ask, right? Why don't they just turn Midnight Suns into a dating simulator then? Maybe that'll be a better game. A Marvel dating sim would be pretty cool. X Men dating? No, just not 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 X Men. Put it put all Marvel characters up for grabs when it comes to that. Do something like boyfriend dungeon. There's an idea. But your hair is clean though, right? Soft hair is nice hair. Very, very soft hair. Like, how soft is soft? It's not soft to the point where it's falling out, though, right? I see your bromance is strong with Hawk. Yeah, just funnel down this way, everybody. No, not that soft. Okay, good. Was that soft, then I'd be like, oh no. That would be a cause for concern, then, at that point. Now we'll run back. Grab that other armor. Just one more day. Just one more day, and then you have Sniper Elite 5 at your disposal. You pre-ordered it, or... No, no, wait, Game Pass. It's coming on Game Pass, right? Velvet Theme Terror. That would make for good clothing, don't you think? Yeah, also, I have a, I'm going to be doing a stream tomorrow as well. Normally, I don't. I haven't done streams on Tuesdays for a bit, but we're going to do one on Tuesday. I got something special. So, that'll be exciting. Also, if you guys missed the announcement, the announcement is on Twitter.
for what it is. So I'm excited to play it. It's something I've been watching for the last little bit. Yeah, I know. I haven't seen an Ori stream in a while. Also, I haven't seen a Hawk stream in a while, and it makes me kind of sad. But I know there's things going on with you guys' lives that you can't that get in the way. But hopefully, we get to see a return at some point. Again, let me know when you do it, Ari. I don't know. I'm not gonna for. I, I'm not forcing you to. It's just, I'm just curious. That's all. If you don't want to, that's of your own accord, right? XC3 comes. Xenoblade 3, okay. Maybe Thursday. That's an idea. We're at least in a better situation than we were before. I'll say that. Yeah, Zade, it's been a little bit. The last one that I remember was you did your single run for your birthday of Devil May Cry. There we go. That's what I thought. There was a bond moment there. That was fun. I know a lot of people will hark on that game, but it has its moments, I find. No, 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 no. There we go. Because I need to reorganize my laundry by seasonal wear. I want me to wear dresses more often. Oh, yeah. Because I remember the last time you came and you were wearing a dress. That'd be something you could do. That'd be an idea. A revamp for your character. You got ideas of what you're thinking about for a character revamp? <laughs> Jeez. The same one all year round? That's what I normally wear. Okay. But I mean, mix it up with different styles, right? Where are you? No, wait, what am I doing? There we go. I have this. I should be using it. Like three or four year round. Okay, if, if it was just the same one consistently, that'd be really bad. Come here. Sniper. 
There we go. Probably a waste of bullets, but... Again, 7.17 p.m. With Fanner Rush. Ooh, that'd be an interesting idea, at least for a character, and you can level them up. I do like that idea. She finds in doing like little comics, like make a little backstory for them. While you're playing, like you could do your games as one thing and then have your own, you know, character, your OG character have a journey and they level up. Oh, son of a, shit, hold on. Sorry, I'm being shot at. Mix mine up. It's getting hotter here, so it's time to pull out my dresses. I guess just as long as they're all part of TOS, Ari, they're all within t terms of service. Because we all know some like to... I know you don't, but it's just something I gotta point out, right? So apologies in advance. And they're all up to your liking, right? There we go. Yeah, because it's all for you. It's not for me. It's not for anyone else. It is only for you. Why do I have a feeling somebody's coming up from behind? I wonder if that was the guy I was shooting at. What kind of theme though would you do for the JRPG character? Is the question is a question though. Okay, so this should be another level within this, hopefully. I don't know yet. Okay. Again, concept concept. You have the idea of what you want to do, it's just a matter of flushing it out. Although Hawk, I will say, compared to the last time when we when I was playing this, the game hasn't 
The game hasn't hard locked, and the game hasn't said that the disc is dirty or damaged, so. So far, no crashing. So, that's a plus, right? <laughs> this is where you die. Okay, there we go. What happened? They fell for each other. And quite literally. Oh, James. <laughs> Okay, then. If that's how you're gonna be about it. Not very subtle, but okay. Thank you, Hawk. I'm just gonna mute that just so I don't get, you know, get it with the DMC or anything. But there we go. I guess that's everything or nothing. So. That's now done. So, this one was a better one, I think. Definitely. It is a tougher game, though, compared to Agent Under Fire and Nightfire, but I did enjoy my time with it, despite, even if I was looking at, I was having some frustrations, but no. This game was awesome. I do like everything or nothing. But, yeah, we'll let it run at least for this. However, with this one done now, we only have one more left, and that is from Russia with Love. So, out of curiosity here, has anyone played from Russia with Love? Because if so, I'd be curious to hear some of you guys' thoughts on it. But I will show. But at least we have it right here, so. And hopefully we won't get any problems with it. And as long as the game works correctly. The disc does have some smudging and fingerprints. But I'm hoping we don't get any problems with, with this game. You have one more week to try and finish them all within a month. Well, you know what? While we're talking about this... I'm gonna just see how long is From Russia With Love. I searched the wrong one. Okay, so according to... According to how long to beat... It should be anywhere from six and a half to seven hours. To finish... To finish From Russia With Love, so... You know what? I guess, you know, should we make it a challenge, you think? 
because I did Agent Under Fire in one sitting. I did Night Fire in one sitting. This was technically two, but this didn't take much longer, like an hour 48. So I could have technically done this in like an eight hour stream maybe, but let's try it for, we'll try it. We'll try it, we'll say. I will try to see if I can do From Russia With Love in a single run. We'll try. You've heard it here. And then after that, we're pretty much done with James Bond. At least these James Bond games. I'm still debating if I should do another one just because. Ooh, that'd be interesting. A single run of From Russia with Love. I say we'll make it. Let's let's try and make it happen. Do it. All right. So here's what we'll do, though. Just for tonight. Should we test the disc at least tonight, just to make sure it work at least? to see if it's gonna be all right. Because th now I can put everything or nothing away. All right, hang on, I will hydrate already, thank you. I did hear something about that hawk. I am curious about those, like I said, I'm not gonna get into it immediately, but it is something I would like to get at some point. So it's, I'll think about it. I want to see what else they're going to be doing. I want to see what else they're going to be doing with it, though. I did hear that, too, and I do appreciate that. So when they add it to the list, it'll be on there. Zaid, I think you and Ari need to have a talk. I guess I'll turn this on because I we'll listen to a little bit. I remember moves myself when I was in my very early 20s and coming out, walking slightly oh. differently, <laughs> kind of beginning to act it out. It's a great temptation, I think, at least for all young males. Mm -hmm. He's a stud. He's hot. My mom knows who he is. I remember watching as a child, James Bond, James Bond, James Bond. I've met young kids out there, and I don't think they've even seen the Bond movies. They've heard of the Bond movies, but they connect straight to the game because that's where their head is at. They're in the game world. Mm -hmm. and they play all the games that are out there, and the Bond ones have always been the most successful. For me, gaming is very high stress. I'm very competitive. <laughs> For me, it amps me up. I'm like, no, I'm going to make this work, and I'm going to win. Shannon I'm going to get there, <laughs> and it's a big deal for me. I play Serena St. Germain. Mm -hmm. I'm an American geologist working in South America, and I help James Bond defeat the villains. It's amazing for me to be involved in such a great project with so many amazing actors, Judy Dench and William Defoe and Pierce Brosnan. Beautiful hunting. First, we take over Russia, then we unleash our little <laughs> nanobots on, on the world. world. I play Katya Nadanova, and I'm an ex-KGB agent, and I'm a real, real. bad girl. Somewhat, you could say. by scanning my face with this high-tech machine, it's a cyber scan machine where you see completely everything from all different angles so they get exactly the way I look. I can't wait to play myself. <laughs> to play myself, myself. <laughs> Jeez, woman. I wonder how that's gonna be. You get to see yourself in the game. I just have to say I had a ball recording the song for everything and nothing. I did something musically that I've never done before. Number one, video game. I'm actually involved in animation as well, so I yep. have all these things going through my head when I'm in the booth. But well, the great thing about this game is that the, the kids get the chance actually to be Bond, and so they have the relationship with me in the game. Yep, Bond they get to see John Cleese with it too. I provided you with a device called a steering wheel, 007. Perhaps you should try to find it. Ah, the old Q-Lab. It's just like coming home. 
you've got the cast. What they've done here is they've created the whole ensemble of a Bond movie within the world of video games. I've seen other people crack at it, but this time they've got my likeness and they've got my voice. Because mm -hmm. they didn't have Brosnan's voice, I remember, it's for lovely. The, the Nightfire. They had his likeness. It's really so loved and that it's out there on a regular basis. And, uh, you know, we're missing making a movie this year, so the, the game is there. Yep. I would say this definitely makes up. Would you say this makes up for Die Another Day? I would say so, because... Die Another Day was just kind of okay, you could say. But yeah. So now there's more stuff, so. But there we go. Everything or nothing is done. I I liked it. It's it's good. This is probably up there with one of my favorite things for James Bond stuff. A better Bond movie than a real Bond movie. It, that's This is up there for me, I would say. I feel like they could turn everything... They could have turned everything or nothing into a movie, but... I think it works better in this context, too. Again, there are some... Some sequences and some points where it's just kind of like... Ugh. Or you feel like it could have been done better, but... Overall, like, the experience of the game is very well done i think this is the best the best thing that ea has done with all of their james bond games right now up to this point because everything i've seen from agent under fire and going forward you've been seeing improvements with every release you've seen them refining things and right now this is their culmination and this is easily the best one right now that could change though when we go when we go to From Russia With Love, we'll, we'll have to find out, though. But, you know what, I'm, I'm just excited to see where we go with this next. Like, I've been having fun with these James Bond games, and actually experiencing most of them for the first time. I can see why most of these are, like, beloved or considered special. This can't be good for me, but I feel great. You feel great about it? I mean, same here. I'll say that, Zade. I agree with that. So I will make an archive. I'll make an archive of this, so that way part two of everything or nothing is going to be on there. So I will post this here. You should... I should play. Well, I mean, when we did the sub go when we did the sub goal, we only made it up to From Russia with Love. So we didn't get into the other ones. But I there is one I want to play like after we're done all this. I do want to do a bonus one. I'm thinking about either wanting to do Goldeneye Rogue Agent because that's the other EA game that was released within this time frame. Or Bloodstone. Because Bloodstone's an original one. So that might be worth looking at as well. I don't have... I don't have Rogue Agent, though. I don't have Rogue Agent. I do have Bloodstone for the PlayStation, for the PS3, so if anything, I can bring that out or figure out some other things with it. We'll see what's up with it, but maybe I'll put out a poll later later on for it. But if you want to catch up, I'll just say at least, because I will make an archive of this part soon. So if you want to catch up on the other playthroughs for James Bond, or at least if you miss out on the first part of Everything or Nothing, Here's the YouTube. You can check out. You can check out the playthroughs there. There is also going to be other playthroughs you can check out there as well too. So, thank you for everyone that's come in on this journey so far. I hope you've been enjoying it as much as I have. <laughs>